Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we're going to be discussing history logs with SVN. Now, every time you make a commit or you modify something on the SVN repository, you know how that revision number is automatically incremented for you. Now, with each revision number that's created, there's also a log of what has happened with that revision that's automatically created for you as well. And this allows you to go through your the history of your repository, and you can take a look at what's happened for a particular directory or a particular file, and see what changes it's gone through during its course as it's as long as it's been in the version control system. So we're going to go ahead, open up our command prompt, and take a look at how we can view the history through our command line utilities. Let's go ahead and go into our command line one folder, which is users slash ryanzek slash desktop slash command line one. You know, we just have our three basic directories. Now we've already used this command once, and we used it when we were when we were branching and merging our branches into the main line and we used it in order to get the revision number in which we created our branch our copy and that was the sh SVN show log with the option of stop on copy so if we go ahead and do SVN log you notice let me just expand our command line window a little bit you notice now it's giving me a copy of all the revision numbers and that's because it's giving me anything that's happened inside of the current folder I'm in and since I'm in the root all revisions have have an effect on something inside either branches trunk or tags and as you can see it shows you the revision number prefixed with an R it shows you the user that modified that performed this revision as you can see this is user 1 then we've got some user 2 user 1 user 2 and then you can see we also can notice what the date is and you can see the comment that the user posted so for revision 15 we updated files for revision 14 we merged branch 1 into trunk which was revision 12 through 13 and you can take a look at that as well now an, an, another option for the SVN log is verbose or dash v so if we do SVN log dash v it's going to give us the same information, but in, in addition to each revision, it's also going to give us the changes that were made. So you can see, as far as revision 1, we added the branches, tags, and trunk. And then if we go to revision 10, you can see we added the tags, tags 1. And you can see it was added from trunk at revision 9. And if we go to revision 13, you can see we modified these two files. So this allows you to actually take a deeper look at what's happened for a particular revision when you use the the verbose or the dash v option. Now what we can also do is we can do SVN show log and then we can give it a particular revision that we want to see. So if I wanted to see what happened in revision 11 I can do SVN log dash r11 and as you can see here we have our revision 11 and it gives us all the information for this and I can also pair this up with the dash v and it gives me, okay, so we added take two from trunk 10. So this is very useful if you're working inside a repository that has a has thousands and thousands of revisions, where if you just do an SVN log, trying to go through a thousand revisions through command line is impossible. So this is very good. And we can also specify a range of revisions if we do the, the start and then colon and the end. So if I want to do, let's say, eight through 14 so you can see it starts with 8 and then it ends with 14 and we can also do this particular we can actually show logs not just on directories but on specific files so if I go ahead and I cd into my trunk and I do svn log I'm going to do, I'm not going to do dash v because I know which particular file I'm going to do it I'm just going to give it the file I want the log on I want it on file1.txt and as you can see here, there were changes on this file with revision 2, 3, 4, 5, 14, and 16. So as you can see, the SVN log gives you the ability to take a look at what's happened within your repository for directories or files. Let's go ahead and close this out. And let's take a look at the same functionality. However, we're going to use Tortoise SVN. And it provides a little bit additional functionality as well on top of the native support of what the command line utility gives us. So if I go ahead, right click on on my Tortoise 1, I can go to Tortoise SVN and I can click on Show Log. 
And basically what this is going to do is it's going to show me pretty much the same information. However, it's going to clean it up a lot in a nicer format and present it in this nice GUI. And as you can see, we have revision 1 through 13. And you'll notice that revision 13 is bolded. And this is representing that this is the current revision the actual repository is on. So if, if the latest revision was 14 and we were on 13, you would see 14 above 13, but 13 would still be bold. So it just lets you know what revision the working copy is currently on. And as you can see, you can see what the revision number is. You can see the actions that performed. This means that something was modified with that red exclamation point. A plus sign means that something was added. And then you've got this X symbol, which means something was deleted. So we can see in revision 13, we had something was modified and deleted. You can go ahead and take a look at right down here. You can see, OK, so file1.txt was modified, but file2.txt was deleted. This gives you that actions and basically that verbose command. It gives you what was modified and what modification was, take, was taking place on that particular file. Notice right here you have your comment. You notice here we have your author, the date, and the message. Let's go back to there. So it's. You'll notice that this comment right here matches what this message is right here. This just gives you a quicker. It provides two things. It gives you a quicker view of what the message was if it's not something super long. And it also gives you the ability to use this search field. And this field allows you to either search for just strain or regular expression. So let's say I wanted to find all revisions where the message was at where there was a message of adding files. I could just do adding files. And as you can see, there you go. That's the revision that adding files happened. Let's let's take a look at where we updated files. Or updating files. And as you can see, revision four through four, five, seven, eight, nine, twelve, and thirteen is when we had a message of updating files. Now we can also use this on the author. So let's say I want to take a look at all revisions by user2. And here you go, this is the list for user2, and then I can go ahead and do user1, and this is the list for user1. So this search command right here, it gives you a lot of different functionality to be able to search based off of messages, authors, and paths, as it tells you right there. Now another thing you can do is you can actually set dates. Now right here, it's only giving you 13 through 14, since that's, the, only, that's the, the date range of this entire repository. But if you had, if this repository was, was um, active for years, and you wanted to narrow down on a few months, you could go ahead, select your days within here. So for instance, I can select 14, and you notice how 1 through 3 just disappeared, because 1 through 3 were, was performed on the 13th. Let's go and get those back. And you also notice here it says showing 13 revisions from revision 1 to 13 and one revision selected. So I could select multiple revisions if I wanted to by holding select. And this will, as you notice, our, our table or our section that shows the files that were modified, they get bigger and bigger as I select more. So this is basically going to show you if you wanted to see all of the files that happened between revision 4 and revision 11, you can click on 4, hold down shift, click the 11, and you can see this was everything that was that was modified between those let's see those eight revisions. And we also on the bottom here we have a show range where we can show all or we can show a range so that if we wanted that, let's only show between revision eight and revision twelve. I can go ahead and type that in here. And as you can see it's showing revision eight through twelve. We can also go ahead this just refresh so if there was something something else that sh that changed okay if there was something else that changed so someone just made a commit and we wanted to make sure we had the latest copy of the log we could just go ahead and hit refresh and we'll pull it from the server and then this is something you can use in order to page it but obviously we don't have a hundred revisions so there's there's no need for us to to uh, to hit this button as it won't do anything except show all of them. Now we also have this st this statistics button, and this basically just gives you a breakdown of number of weeks. You can do authors, total commits, total files changed, and then it gives you a breakdown of like the average, min, and max. It can give you breakdowns of the most active user and the least active user, 
and you can also break these into two charts and they just have a bunch of different options that you can go ahead and and, and perform if you want to get some graphs based off of the SVN usage that you're seeing. Let's click OK and click OK. And that basically covers what I wanted to cover about how you can go ahead and view the history of your repositories both through the SVN command line utility and through Tortoise SVN. Thanks.